Hello friends, this is Heather the Fed Up Foodie. If you haven't made a cream pie from scratch in a while, I have some tips that will streamline the process of making this banana cream pie. It's a luxurious creamy dessert, perfect for banana lovers. Start by preparing all the ingredients for the custard. Combine the sugar, cornstarch, and salt in a medium-sized saucepan, and then slowly whisk in the whole milk. Cook over medium heat until the mixture starts to boil and thicken slightly. The most important step in making a custard is tempering the egg yolks. Simply put, tempering means to slowly dilute the egg yolks with a small amount of hot custard multiple times. This is important because eggs are prone to cooking very quickly when added to hot liquid. Without tempering, they would turn into scrambled eggs in the custard. The easiest way to add small increments of the hot liquid is by using a small gravy ladle or quarter cup measuring cup. Once you have tempered the eggs with about one cup of the hot mixture, add the eggs to the saucepan and cook over medium heat for a full three minutes whisking consistently. Now take off heat and whisk in butter and a high quality banana liqueur. Of course, pure vanilla extract can be used instead, but the banana liqueur adds in another layer of delicious banana flavor. Transfer the pudding to a medium sized mixing bowl and cover with a sheet of plastic wrap. This prevents a layer of skin from forming on the custard. Now place in the refrigerator to chill to at least room temperature. This will take about two hours. Graham cracker crusts are one of the easiest pie crusts to make that use only two ingredients. Within the recipe post, I share delicious pie crust variations that you can personalize your pie flavor. Okay, so this next tip is one of the most important ones if you want to achieve clean pie slices, or in other words, a piece of pie that doesn't look like a hot sloppy mess. Once the graham cracker crust is baked and cooled, add the custard to the crust and let it chill in the refrigerator overnight covered with a piece of plastic wrap. The custard will congeal in the pie crust and your pie slices will come out with cleaner edges. If you decide to add multiple layers of bananas before chilling the pie, it will be crucial to soak the banana slices in some form of an acidic juice such as lemon, pineapple, or orange juice for a few seconds. This helps in retaining freshness and preventing the bananas from turning brown. Just make sure to pat the banana slices dry with a paper towel before layering in the pie. To avoid this extra step of soaking the banana slices, simply add them the next day before adding the whipped cream. Making homemade whipped cream is so incredibly easy to do and about a thousand times better than Cool Whip. To do so, add heavy whipping cream, sugar, and pure vanilla extract to a chilled bowl, Beat on low speed for about one minute, and then increase to high speed until soft peaks form about three to four minutes. Add the freshly whipped cream to the top of the pie, making fluffy, disorganized mounds. As a finishing touch, my favorite way to garnish the pie is with a crumbled graham cracker. One last final tip, if you find the pie challenging to cut, dip your knife into a hot glass of water and dry with a cloth before making each cut. For more recipes like this and for weekly inspiration, make sure to head on over to thefedupfoodie.com and sign up for my newsletter where I share recipes and tips in helping to make cooking from scratch approachable.